More than 30 years after the world's biggest nuclear catastrophe, it's hoped this arch will lock down Chernobyl's deadly reactor number four. We're using an arch equipped with special systems to cover reactor number four, which exploded. It'll allow us to do further works aimed at making the site of the catastrophe ecologically safe. The reactor exploded in April 1986, contaminating up to three quarters of Europe. In 2006, Greenpeace said 100,000 people had died from radioactive contamination. Currently protected by a concrete dome, hastily constructed by rescue workers, Reactor No. 4 is in danger of leaking nuclear waste. The construction of the 1.5 billion euro safety arch started in 2010. It will be operational by late 2017. Of course, background radiation levels in the contaminated zone won't change, but at least the reactor will stop leaking waste after the new confinement arch is in place. But it makes little difference to those residents living in the exclusion zone. Yevgen moved to Chernobyl in 1986 before the disaster and was forcefully evacuated after the explosion. But he soon came back with his wife and they now live in the very heart of the area deemed uninhabitable by the Ukrainian authorities, along with a dozen other families. I understand that they're doing all they can to protect the environment and the people living in the zone. I understand all that. They want a more peaceful, more secure way of life for us. But the truth is, their actions don't affect my life at all. The arch may have little impact on Yevgen's life, but officials hope the new dome will make the area safer for generations to come.